Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas to you. So, today being Christmas, as a gift from me to you, I will share with you six mistakes to avoid when investing in property. So stay put, relaxed, and pay attention to this. Welcome to Property Ask Echo, and I'm your host, Echo Kregrin. And as you may know, I'm a former banker and now a serial real estate investor. And I'm on a mission to help 5,000 purpose-driven entrepreneurs go full-time doing what they love through the power of real estate. If you're new here, do the right thing and subscribe to our channel today. And make sure to hit the bell button to turn on the notifications in order to stay up to date with the informative content that I'll be sharing with you every single week. It's Christmas today and we are still celebrating our shared success with you, our loyal community, by giving away a thousand rand in cash to one lucky person. So keep watching this video to see how to qualify. Let's do this. As much as it takes knowledge, determination, and skills to invest in property, people who are new to real estate investing tend to make a number of mistakes. So watch this video to identify six specific mistakes to avoid in order to accelerate your growth path in this industry. One, failing to plan. I buy a lot of properties on auctions and I see a lot of people buying on ego and emotions. And then later, they return the property to the auction floor after losing about 60 to 70% of their down payment to the auctioneer due to lack of planning. Don't buy a property because you think you got a good deal and then try to figure out what to do with the property later. This is the last thing you want to do. The number is the number and you don't go above the number. Stick to the plan and buy with your head. This is business. Mistake number two, cutting back on research. The problem is most wannabe real estate investors look at real estate as a transaction instead of looking at it as an investment strategy. And they therefore cut back on research. Before I bought my first property, I had to look at 100 properties. And I did that because I needed to understand the rental market and the market dynamics of my chosen area. Maybe you're smarter than me and therefore would not have to look at 100 properties before you buy your property. But my advice to you is to educate yourself, have a lot of activities and ask a lot of questions before you put your financial security on the line. Mistake number three, overpaying and miscalculating cash flow. Overpaying and miscalculating cash flow are the biggest reasons investors don't make money in real estate. If you buy properties to rent them out, you need sufficient cash flow to cover the running cost. So, making mistakes in the analysis is deadly to your financial freedom journey. At our Property Ask Echo Academy, we delve deeper into this aspect by teaching you exactly how to navigate around such a problem. But for now, you should watch my video titled Finding Your First Investment Property to gain a basic understanding of how not to pay too much for a property by using the 80-20 principle. Mistake number four, underestimating expenses. Most wannabe real estate investors underestimate their expenses. My best advice to you is to make a list of all the monthly costs associated with running and maintaining a property and add in the monthly rent to calculate your ROI before actually making a bid. If you don't know how to calculate ROI, watch my video on how to calculate ROI. Number five, failing to have a mastermind group. Many real estate investors think that they can do everything on their own. They think they know it all or they can close a real estate deal on their own. This is a recipe for a disaster. My best advice for you is to have a mastermind group of professionals, which at minimum should include a shrewd real estate agent, a competent home inspector, a good handyman, a good contractor, a good attorney, a good accountant, and a lender to leverage off. Mistake number six, failing to collect rental income. Most wannabe investors fail to collect rental income on time. If you want to have financial freedom, you must use the same energy and excitement you used to borrow the money from the bank to collect your rental income. Investing in real estate is not easy. Otherwise, everybody would have been doing it. Fortunately, many hurdles investors face can be avoided with due diligence, 
proper planning, proper training, and good financial education. Now, the question for the 1000 rand cash prize is, what are the five variables used to determine your credit score? Let me give you a clue. Watch my video titled, Five Ways to Boost Your Credit Score. All you have to do to stand a chance of winning the 1000 rand cash prize is, one, subscribe to our channel and like a video. Two, answer the question asked in this video by commenting on this video with your answer by Wednesday, the 30th of December, 2020. Three, be present at our live draw on Thursday, the 7th of January, 2021 at 7 p.m. Central Africa time. It's a date you don't want to miss. A dream is only a dream. If no one gets to see it, it is as good as dead. I wish you happy investing and good luck. Until next time, bye-bye.